This is kind of like the holy grail of engine. They've been, since day one of a piston-driven engine that has pop-it valves, as they call it, you know, valves that open and close for air and fuel mixture, there's always been a trade-off. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am fascinated by new technology and things that are coming down the pipeline of the automotive industry and, and other industries also. But the one thing that perked up my interest was a name for himself in the hypercar world. Um, it's Christian Van, I can't even pronounce his freaking name. I, I'm, I'm embarrassed. Koenigsegg. Christian Koenigsegg. He has a sister company that they're developing and they're developing a new technology called a camless engine. And for you gearheads out there, we all know what that means. But for your non-gearheads out there, this is kind of like the holy grail of engine. They've been, since day one of a piston-driven engine that has pop-it valves, as they call it, you know, valves that open and close for air and fuel mixture, there's always been a trade-off of power versus drivability, versus engine speed, versus all this kind of stuff. So manufacturers have come up with like a, you know, great tricks in, of the trade or have tried to compensate for that. Because you gotta remember, an engine runs, an engine is an air pump. So it runs at all different speeds. So pumping air at all different speeds and the requirements of air at different RPMs or speeds is, it changes. So. What a camshaft does, and that, this is going to go into a quick type of tutorial. This is not going to be a, a all tutorial to tail, blah, 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 but you can look it up on other channels. A, cam spend, a camshaft basically turns the valves and it dictates how much air flows through an engine and an RPM. And it also gives the idle characteristics, the engine RPM, and all that kind of stuff. But you're always limited to the cam profile. That means that what's ground into this piece of metal that opens and closes these valves. And over the years, manufacturers have come up with ingenious stuff to compensate for that. Cam phasing, for instance. Uh, you have an electronic um, hydraulic actuator that actually rotates the cam in different degrees, which gives it higher RPM or lower RPM thing, but it still does not change the actual profile of the cam of opening and closing valve. They're kind of cheating a little bit. Then you have, which is also sort of like, like a, a camshaft phasing, is variable timing. Um, you also have uh, what the Honda guys have pioneered or the VTEC, you know, using two different camshaft lobes. And that kind of like set off the whole thing for small displacement engines having a lot of horsepower. But what then, oh, I can't pronounce his name. God, I'm so bad at this. Koenigsegg. Christian Koenigsegg, he created that hypercar that does the Nuremberg ring and blah, 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 and all the other stuff. That, look him up. But he's also a tinkerer. He also is using stuff that it's off the shelf stuff that he's kind of made into the modern era. And I'll get into that in another video of some of his supercars or what he's come up with. But he's coming up with this, this technology called, it's, it's, it's technically called a camless piston engine per, for what, in, in technical terms, where he calls it the free valve system. And I'm pretty sure in the background here, I'll have all sorts of cool videos of this thing and actuation and working and all that kind of stuff. But I've been following this for the past couple of years and I still haven't seen anything take off from there. But man, this is a, this would be the holy grail of engines because you could have your cake and eat it too. What a free valve system or what a camless system does is basically it gets rid of all the valve train components that run an engine. You're talking about camshafts, timing belts, um, the height of the head or the packaging of the engine, gets rid of the throttle body. Throttle body, think about that for a minute. And you have the valves who are dictating how much air flows in that engine running separately than being timed with the engine mechanically. So this is a technology that I, I'm, I'm shocked that we that they haven't come further with that yet and other manufacturers have tried this 
fail, they tried to use the poppet valves, they tried to use other type of mechanical things to, to, to do this, to get rid of the camshaft, and they kind of really never go from the experimental phase to the manufacturing phase, because I would assume, one, it's hard to produce, two, it's the reliability, because, you know, the camshaft technology and, and the belt technology and all that stuff that goes with the engine, something like this onto it, not only do you compact the size of the engine, but you actually can produce more power. But think of that in the in the racing world or in bigger engines, you know, V6s, V8s, V12s, V10s, you put that, that type of technology, no longer are you limited by the type of camshaft that you're running. You can be running crazy amounts of horsepower and still have the, the engine purr like a kitten. Or vice versa, you can make it sound as rough as you want and make it sound like, like a race car when it's really not. But you can have the best of both worlds, fuel economy, power, and power where you need it in the RPM range. Not just by the, the, how the camshaft is dictating the RPM range. And you think, I think it's pretty cool. What do you guys think? Talk to you later. Bye.